Thanks. Welcome back to the Blue Way Talk Show with Dwayne Bluestein and Miss Shelly Marie. I got a special guest in the house, Mr. Randy, Hall of Famer, 2013, Arizona Rattlers, Gatewood. Doing, he he is I and I am him. I'm well. I'm very well. I'm well, man. I'm very well. Doing well. Thank you for coming out. I really appreciate you coming out. No problem. Last minute. I was a surprise. Randy, was... can you get here right now? Right now. And why was you surprised? Because I'm like uh like all over the place. Well, you're all over the place, right? You're all over the place. I, yeah. Randy's no, but uh, I'm glad. I'm glad to be in the house. So I'm glad to be in the building, and uh, it, this should be good. This is cool, man. I'm glad. Thanks for the invite. Well, we're happy that you, I mean, we've been together for a minute. You've supported me on so many events, and, you know, I'm going to keep you around because you are one of my celebrity friends. One. <laughs> <laughs> He's got free tickets, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, He's got the pool. Plug. Uh, plug. plug. Uh, <laughs> so, I'm all for it, though. It's cool. Hey, it's Red, cool. I wanted to really touch, we were, before we went to the break, we were talking about should high-profile um, individuals Get into current affairs. What, what is your take? I mean, you were in the league. You were you were drafted by the Dolphins, correct? I signed with the Dolphins right. actually uh, back in long time ago. You long know, I won't ago. disclose that. Yeah, yeah we long won't time ago. The, but the uh, time. Yeah. yeah, I spent some time. Uh, spent some time there, and uh, then of course I went on to to play in the Arena Football League here in in Arizona, where I really kind of made a name for myself in the in the football world. So, but back to your question in reference to uh, high profile athletes. Uh, people like that speaking out on on whether it's it's current affairs, whether it's politics, whatever it is. I think there's there's a place for it, and then I think maybe there's a place not for it. Mm -hmm. um, I look back on this this situation, and I know we're pretty much talking, you know, about the case that's all over the news right now, um, and. I haven't kept a, kept up with it a whole lot, probably as much as some of the others have, but I've heard some opinions, I've heard some talks about it and things like that. And, you know, as I look back on everything that's happened, and I heard you guys commenting on it earlier, I think a lot of people don't see it that way, but I think justice still was served to some degree. Um, mm -hmm. you, you're talking about a guy who can probably never leave home, who uh, who's pretty much going to be isolated now for the rest of his life. And... I remember getting, I remember hearing about this case when it first happened, and I remember hearing that uh, Zimmerman was connected with someone who, uh, I believe his father was mm -hmm. was pretty high up in something. I don't remember what it was. He's not a judge, okay. but he is. He's, he's, he's connected. Yeah, okay, yes. so I remember hearing that, and I remember thinking to myself even back then, like, like there's no guarantee that he's going to go to jail for right. this problem. And it, and it looked like a slam dunk to a lot of us. But right. uh, when you're dealing with that type of thing, when when you're dealing with someone who has some pull, some weight behind him, um, it's not a huge, huge surprise to me that he didn't get, you know, a couple of years or he didn't go to jail for it. But I look at it in a sense also of – who knows what was what what the thinking was behind the justice right. system? What they were doing? Right. Um, had they sentenced him to jail? That's basically giving him the death penalty too. Right? You know what Inside. I mean? Inside. Inside. So so you know, not that it's right, not that it's fair, but sometimes we're not in control of the decisions that are being made, and so we just have to learn to live with them. And I think this is a perfect example where where athletes could speak about it right um athletes could could take a stance on it but in the end real looking at it from a realistic point of view even the high profile athletes and people like that who who probably would take a stand is it really going to matter is it really going to make a difference is it going to make a That's difference the question. I, yeah. I struggle with him getting involved because there's so many Trayvon Martins. Mm -hmm. There's so many. Mm -hmm. You know, in every city, there's a new Trayvon Martin that we could say, hey, somebody needs to speak up. Mm -hmm. um, good looking kid, good looking kid on television, very marketable, was easy for the public to kind of receive. So, like, mm -hmm. I just feel that if I have a LeBron James, if I have a um, Dwayne Wade, if I have a President Obama, I mean, I was I was kind of taken aback that he spoke on it. And I understand that you have kids, but the power that you have, 
I don't know if I want you to speak on that because now if there's another Trayvon two months from now, right. are you going to speak on that? Mm-hmm, for sure. And that's that's just so unfair to be able to put that much pressure on parents because parents want their child just to be as important right. as this child. For sure, for sure. And it was a sad... It It's really sad, though, that, that it even came down to the way this whole thing played out, right. you know? Um, and like you said, even if you go back and you look back on on everybody else, all the other kids, all the other Trayvon right. Martins, all right. the... Everything that's happened throughout society, like there's just there's not enough people, there's not enough celebrities, there's not enough people to speak out on these certain issues, right. you know. And I think it's the one thing that I really, really, truly that I believe in personally when it comes to to tragedy and these type of things that happen is is you have to learn though to accept certain things in what happens. Right. Okay, you can't. We can be mad, we could be upset, we could be angry, um, we could riot, we could loot, we can do everything and go back, even go back to the case in L.A. when they had all the things and pulling guys out of the trucks. And I mean, it, it was, right. it was at the end of the day, it at the end of the day, it doesn't change anything. It doesn't. Change it doesn't, change anything. The it doesn't. Is what it is. They're not going to, they're not going to go back and say, okay, Zimmerman's guilty now because everybody's right. doing this, you know? And, and I, I appreciate the unity because there was a lot of unity for this there's a lot of people that came together for this and i appreciate you know everybody kind of standing up and saying hey this is wrong and let's make it let's allow people to say their the awareness is still there let's mm-hmm. you know there are things that are out there that don't kind of match up all the time but let's not take it to another extreme where we're looting and destroying mm-hmm. things. Let's try to come I think together. For a lot of people, in my opinion, it was enough is enough. Like okay. we've seen yeah. it over and over and over again. Now we have to sit down and or stand up and say something. Mm-hmm. But as far as you know, high profile people coming aboard, I'm st- I'm I'm with you and saying I don't know if it's it's necessarily their place or what difference is it going to make in this situation. It's kind of getting more attention, media attention, because who is. But they're not really speaking out so much. They're strapping on the hoods and representing like that, which is great. Yeah. Which is is fine. But, but they're not speaking on no it. No one's speaking no on one it, because what do you say? Yeah, it's mm-hmm. it's kinda hard. You are on the Blue Way talk show with Dwayne Bluestein and Miss Shelley Marie with special guest, Mr. Randall Gatewood. So we are uh, we want to jump into another because Randy swears up and down he's a chef. <laughs> <laughs> Randy says, when I'm a chef, I could have done that that show, but you put that domestic diva. <laughs> he said it like that. You said no, it like that. I don't know if I said it like that. I probably it said it more more eloquently, you know. But you said it. Uh, I don't oh. even remember saying it. You know, I don't recall <laughs> saying it. You know, yeah, I don't recall saying it. You know. <laughs> but I mean, you know, it uh, might have been said something well, like that. Well, well, let's take it back right now. Well, last week Shelly brought up because you know I can't I cook. Back. Can't you it. can't take it back because it's already said. <laughs> so we brought up that I'm a mean peanut butter and jelly. Yes, you are creator. Mm-hmm. I can create the best peanut butter and jelly, and you told me that you were going to get me some recipes, some recipes, right. on peanut butter and jelly. And Randy, as we were on the break, said he's got a peanut butter. Right. Can y'all enlighten me on peanut butter and jelly? Well, I'm. I originally, when you said that, I was thinking like I can do 50 million things with peanut butter and jelly, like for seriously, million seriously. Things. But we'll That's go a with lot. a few. 50 million is a lot. I mean, that's it, it a big is. number. It is. If you want to stick to the <laughs> whole sweet and savory peanut butter and jelly type, I, my immediately my first thought was empanadas. And basically empanada is like a turnover and you stuff the little pie crust full and you pinch it on the ends, you fry it and you dump powdered sugar on it. Woo! And the heat from the fryer the melts. The empanadas is what you made at the mm-hmm. Moroccan, at the, the not no, the Moroccan no. one, at the island, island thing. Yeah, which are like thing. the beef patties. The, yeah, yeah, the same thing. But a lot of people, you can fill them with anything. It could be considered, you know, there's a lot of peanut different names from pe- peanut butter and jelly, empanada. And of course, there is a peanut butter and jelly shot mm. with frangelico mm. and chambord. One ounce of each, shake it up with some ice, boom. And I tried it. I was going to bring some. But what had <laughs> happened was it was really I good. Again of what, had, juice. what had happened was had happened. salute. Now, now the uh-huh. great thing about it is, everybody, we have these plastic cups, and she has this domestic diva. What can we say? I'm saying what domestic can we diva say? Catering.com. 
what can we say? And but back can, and she continues to plug. Yeah. She back to the uh, back to the peanut butter and jelly. Thing. Like, yeah. you what is your peanut butter you have one? You know, and and by the way, I am like self-proclaimed chef. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. But you know what? At that island tasting, this guy was there, and you did handle those strawberries. I was, I, I did. was like, wow, you he knows know? what he's doing. Have you a seen little the something, video something. yet? I, like, yeah. I seen a little bit of it. I yeah. seen a little bit of it. It was pretty cool. But yeah. back to the peanut butter and jelly thing. Um, I have a little peanut butter and jelly little recipe of my own, Go and ahead, it's, share, it's share, uh, share. and I can't even claim it as mine. You guys are all here to witnessing see it. the witnesses, she, but you're more than welcome to use it. Yes, like you're more you. than welcome to use it. Um, but it's a, it's basically a French toast. Peanut butter, peanut butter and jelly sandwich. So mm. it's made just like French toast. Everything's cooked on the griddle up top, just like so French a toast. Egg wash, normal egg wash, normal egg wash, a little bit of maybe even some cinnamon, now, something this? like that. Maybe, maybe. <laughs> you know, Is that a question that's mark probably a question mark, question but it may not quite come steps. out the same. It's, it's yeah, yeah, you know. But I even add a little bit of cinnamon to it mm-hmm. as well. You know, Ooh, and vanilla. No. you you could add vanilla, but, but I like the, to throw a little yeah. cinnamon, just okay. very gotcha. little. And and then while those are hot, immediately when they're done is when you apply the peanut butter and the jelly because mm. the heat is going to melt it just a little bit. And that's what's going to make it run out of the sides, you know, slice it in half, sprinkle some peanut, I mean, some uh, powdered sugar over the top of it. Mm-hmm. And you really don't need syrup. But because if you want jelly. it, you could have a little side of like hot syrup if you wanted to dip it in Emily into something like that. Emily had two gallons of Sir, we can go back to her house and grab it. Yeah, they were gallons. Yeah. Gallons I said they were 40 ounces, yeah. but... You but said 40 ounces. 40 ounces. <laughs> <laughs> she said it on camera. And everybody just looked at her like... Just 40 like, ounces 40 of, uh, ounces yeah, of Miss Butterworth. Mrs. Butterworth. Yeah, okay. <laughs> That's what it was. She had a bandana on and everything like, hey. Uh, <laughs> but it's hot. So try it out, Shelly. You let I me am, know how it I tastes. I am. Yeah, I'm going to try you know? it and I'll let you guys know. I'll probably put it on uh, Twitter. I'll take a picture of it. We'll compare stories. You got it. And uh, see what's up. But I'm excited about it because my kids love peanut butter and jelly. And uh, you know what? I love it. I, I know. I, mean, I love peanut butter and jelly. And I, I'm excited. Empanadas? The yeah. little, Ooh. with the fork thing, yeah. you mm-hmm. push down yeah. and, and it the just edges. You know, and she said side. the edges, yeah, yeah. you know, I was watching the video. I didn't know what the heck she was doing. I don't experiment with it too much, but that that is one thing that I do do enjoy is the French toast, mm. peanut well, butter and jelly. Thing. Randy, we're going to have to go to a break, but can you hang around? Hang around? Talk with us sure. a little bit. I'll I stay mean, a little bit longer. You know, you know, you know a couple minutes because yeah. we really want to get into the ESPYS. Uh oh. Talk about the because I really want to talk about LeBron James in that outfit. Did you see that outfit? You know what? Honestly, I didn't see the outfit. Oh, so I need to pull it up. over the break, we need to pull it up. We're yeah, let me take up, a look at it. Show you. Uh, we're gonna get into uh, the domestic diva kitchen tastings, and we're gonna talk about that a little bit. And we know that you've been to a couple of them, mm-hmm. so we want to you know kind of go over that. And we want to talk about this new um, challenge. It's DB Productions versus Domestic Divas, and we're going to do and fantasy. First of all, it just sounds funny already because we already know what? what's going to happen. But go ahead. See, again, she she won't even let... What's going to happen? It's a, it's I mean, I'm trying to... Y'all got to bring me up to speed, you know? Yeah, so I'm, I'm trying Besides to Besides me it. winning so, the so, challenge. So what team am I on? Well, see, that's the whole thing. Oh. We, we It's like you pick teams. You know how we did kickball? Yeah. I got oh, okay. Break, you know, right. somebody you got first. You know, if you win, it depends on what it is. Okay. What what is what well, is it though? You know, we're gonna do a fantasy football league. I know. Do you still do you play fantasy football? Of course. Okay, so fantasy football. There's gonna be a little golf tournament and a little cookout. I play golf, right? And so I'm showdown for a cookoff. So that's all. And so it all, all makes that, yeah. sense, right? Mm-hmm. So I get first. He's on my team. <laughs> He's on my team. He's on my team. <laughs> <laughs> Come on. First round with first the first round. overall pick in the I draft. Know. You know, first round draft pick. Yeah, Ooh. first overall pick. You All know, the bat already. So yeah. we're thinking of a place where we're going to um, do this challenge, and I really think that it's going to be in Tucson. I really All right on. Do Tucson. Right on. I really want to do Tucson. I think it'd be nice to go back. We, we right. need to go back. Totally. I know that was that the first totally. big wahoo. Totally. Yeah, that was the big wahoo that you were with us. I mean, we've d- we've done a, few a couple of wahoos, wahoos but you know, we've, but, you know yeah. what? We've had a few good was, wahoos. I don't even want to go there. No, I don't know? even think I want to be on this ship now. Oh. Now that it's like that. <laughs> well, welcome aboard. We really appreciate Miss mm-hmm. Domestic Diva Shelly Marie. Whatever, yo. You are on the Blue Way Talk Show at Gmail dot com. Did you see how I got it all in? When you said Gmail dot com, that doesn't even make sense. Yes, yeah, the Blue Way Talk Show at gmail.com. Oh, you did. Com. My bad. Say it again. Cut and go. And go. We can't cut, though. Just huh? go. Just go. 
The Blue Wing <laughs> Talk Show with Dwayne Bluestein and Miss Shelly Marie with special guest Randy Gatewood.